This is Wrecky Ball and Gursky, and you are watching 341 Gaming! Hello everyone, it is your boy Drake41, aka Mr. 4K, aka Drake41, and you are now watching another episode of AEW vs. New Japan Pro Wrestling Universe slash GM Mode, and I got my homie, Mr. Mayhem, on here with me. What's going on, man? Oh man, it's uh, going pretty good. I'm uh, hanging my head in the feet, it seems, this week. Yeah, you know what? Um, it, it might be a little bit of a situation where I have, you know, a couple of the the homies voting, but you know what? Things will equal out, and uh, we'll get things we'll, we'll get things figured out. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to skew. I have no doubt. Absolutely, and and you know, in the opening contest, we have women's wrestling. Who would have thought? Women's champion. Who would have thought? I don't know, Dre. <laughs> what that belt looks pretty good around brownie yes it does but you know what we we might have to update a couple of things once again i was running this universe before starting up this gm battle so you know brandy rhodes was able to win that championship she actually defeated tessa blanchard uh for the championship so you know it might be a situation where we have to bring in the actual champion but you know that's for future show so guys definitely stay tuned for that but uh yeah, in the opening contest, we have one hell of a banger, a ladder match in the women's division. Now, is this a TLC or just a straight ladder match? Well, see, this is a straight ladder match. Now, this is actually a rivalry uh, that I have set up. So, the, the, the computer basically sets it up. And if I deem it good enough for the show, especially with me going up against you, then I'm going to let that happen. Uh, Kylie Ray currently not signed with AEW, but you know what? I'm going to use her. <laughs> I'm going to use her. Yep. And that's like the one with uh, your boy CM Punk. You know what? And I was thinking about that. With him signing to WWE, it might be a situation where I might have to uh, adjust some things. But you know what? He has. I, I'm not going to strip him of the championship. He has to lose it straight up and down. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna strip. Pointless. Yeah, I can agree with something like that. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, we got the bell ringing and Kylie Ray, both women going for a weapon here. Yeah. It, ladder and table. And you know what? They want to get it cooking at the very beginning of the match. By all means, it only makes it more exciting. So yeah, by all means, use the weapons. I'm down for it. Now. Call this what you will uh, in this opinion, but I believe Kylie Ray has the upper hand here. Brandy Rhodes, ah, you know what? She is a women's wrestler, but I don't really consider her to be a wrestler of the caliber of Kylie Ray or any of the other women you have on the roster. She is normally a arm piece for Cody. Wow, that's what we're doing? You, you think you think she's just she's just a, a a valet now? I'm saying she's not as skilled as Kylie Ray and the other women you have. Okay, so that's call that how you want. That's that's a fair assessment, but uh, with her being able, I mean, she's wrestled in Ring of Honor. She's she's wrestled in some places. Granted, she's not a a, a ring technician. Uh, she definitely can hold her own. Or in uh, Ring of Honor at a uh, stage. And how you think she did? It was all right. Like I said, it was. Right. <laughs> Such disrespect for our women's champion. <laughs> the women's champion is rolling out to the outside. Maybe and preparing for the rest of her career. <laughs> you are being wild, disrespectful towards my women's champion. <laughs> and you know what? That's all right. Subscribe to your channel for you being disrespectful. Hey, you know, I can go with it. Oh, she's going for the briefcase, though, not waiting. Man, I missed the days of when an actual belt hung up there. Yeah, Kylie right. Get in there and do something about it. 
Yep, and she definitely is right now throwing those forearm shots right to the calf. But and this better not be lackluster. <laughs> Listen, this is all elite wrestling. Stop it. Don't don't disrespect. Well, you know, if I was Brandy Rhodes, I'd be going for that right away. Can't blame her for that. Kylie Ray looked like she was stuck for a moment. Yeah, Kylie Ray was no cell roll to the outside. Right? And now it's a the roles have reversed, and now Brandy Rose throwing those forearms. And you know what? The one thing I did try to do in here was I tried to to change the briefcase. Instead of it showing Money in the Bank, I was just gonna have like AEW was gonna be a black briefcase. But for some reason, it didn't update. I'm not sure why. From the top of the ladder. Yeah. Uh, this right here makes me spit nails at 2K. This is horrible logic. Yeah, it's just sitting there. And, and and I think she's won, yeah. Yeah, easy victory for Brandy Rhodes. I mean, being the... the okay, so out of a five-star, honestly, I'm going to keep it 100. This is probably two-and-a-half-star match. I'm, I'm just... Two-and-a-half-star? Yeah! Courteous. Wow. Here is your winner, Ram. Wow. I'm, hey, you get to talk trash on my next show. Tell me how many one stars I get. This is a one star. Ooh. This is a half star. Well, you know what? Uh-oh. Yeah. Got a Jurassic Express. Yeah. Well, I already know. I'm not playing around here, man. I got the tag team division. I got a great tag team division. Well, I have a great tag team division and a bunch of factions. You know what? We'll see how that comes into play, though, when we come uh, from the next New Japan show on Thursday. But, but you know what? Yeah, and definitely check that out, his New Japan show, which will be on his YouTube channel um, tomorrow. Um, it's going to be in a link in the description below on this uh, video. I always, I'm always going to link his video and his uh, YouTube channel um, in the description box below so so you guys have easy access to it and definitely subscribe and turn on the bell notification for his videos so you know when he uploads his videos yeah. uh, for this universe slash GM mode and we're both trying to you know promote each other across Twitter when we're putting up our show so keep an eye out on there as well yes and, and definitely follow both of us on Twitter as well I'm also going to link his Twitter in the description box below, so definitely follow him. And it's not only for this GM mode, he also runs uh, Fire Pro Wrestling, also does his own universe in WWE 2K19. So definitely check that out. He also live streams on Twitch, right? Yeah, live streaming on Twitch. So yeah. All and, uh, most of uh, the other EOW stuff is just straight up, you know... PDP and it's put together as a show format on a playlist so y'all can see that there but right now we got best friends yeah Chuck and uh Beretta going up against the Lucha Express and it looks like they got some things you know going for them right now double high five and yeah, and, and just to let you know now, you're not the only guy with a faction now in your universe, or multiple factions. I actually have a faction of my own, which is a surprise you will see in the upcoming weeks. All right. I'm ha looking forward to that. Yeah, I stepped my game up, man. I had to. There was no choice here. I mean, you had a bunch. You got 12,000 factions. I just got a bunch of tag teams. <laughs> but you know what? It, it, it's you a handicap. When we do our uh, thing, uh, you know, at our six-month mark, where we have our War of the Worlds, so to speak, we can have a faction wars. See, the faction that I have, it's a five-man faction, but it's only one faction. So I definitely have to, you know, when, when thing, you know, when my, my GM mode, yeah, my universe. Survivor Series thing. Uh, absolutely. I mean, it, it. We can definitely work something out. We could definitely work something out. Now it's a great back and forth between uh, Jungle Boy and uh, Chucky T. Yeah. Ooh, great DDT right there. Just drilled him right on top of his head. Didn't go for a pen combination there. And uh, I'll tell you what, Chuck Taylor is a hard face to get down. Yeah. I mean. You know, the one thing that we did have to do in AEW, besides, you know, Jungle Boy just staring at his oppo opponent, we had to tell uh, Chuck Taylor not to use an invisible grenade 
Uh, ooh, nice cutter. Uh, ooh. Uh, we had to tell him not to use that invisible grenade as it might cause too many injuries and take out a majority of the tag teams here in AEW. So, uh, yeah, we had to tell him not to utilize that. Wait a minute. Jungle Boy. Uh oh. Ooh! Flip pile driver from the middle turnbuckle. Drilled him. It might be over here. But count. Beretta in for the breakup. Oh, and dropping Luchasaurus with that drop kick there. Great move. Now, Beretta, he is not afraid to fly either. Yeah, he's not afraid to miss. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I forget uh, when I saw it, and it might have been in uh, Defiant Wrestling where he had a thumbtack match. And oh. I think it might have been against BT Gun. Mm -hmm. Oh no, sorry, I take that back. It was the Bucks and uh, against uh, Best Friends and they put thumbtacks in Beretta's mouth and super kicked them. Oh my goodness, that, that must have felt great. <laughs> that was brutal. And right now, uh, Jungle Boy was being brutalized in the corner, but he shows some fight. Knocking down Chucky T2 and another cutter. Great move there by Jungle. Jungle Boy holding his own even though he's about to... The pin. Yeah, he should have. But he's only a buck fifty soaking wet with a, a you know, a toy, you know, toy T Rex in his pocket. Yeah, well, Luchasaurus is kind of reeling on the rope over there at the corner. Yeah, he definitely needs to do something. He wants to stay in this match. I mean, he's the bigger, he's the biggest man in this match. He should just tag in and dominate uh, best friends, honestly. Well, you would think, but uh, Beretta and Chucky T. Do have a uh, how do I say it? They're they're cohesive, and I'm not saying that Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy aren't, but Beretta and Chucky T are both kind of on that heavyweight range, still on the light heavyweight side to where they can do some high flying springboard action if they need to. But well, that, the weight advantage is going to best friends is what I'm getting to. Oh yeah, absolutely, but don't don't discount Luchasaurus, even though he's a huge man and utilizes that choke slam, he can fly with the best of them and he has a great karate skills with those spin kicks and tornado kicks as well. He can do it all. Well, and he has a PhD. Yes, he does. Let's not forget that. Luchasaurus does have a PhD. <laughs> and now oh, Jungle Boy Irish whipping him into Luchasaurus corner but denied it seems like a lot of reversals are going on right now i mean nobody's really getting an easy tag in this match oh big boot right to the face jungle boy taking down beretta i guess jungle boy feels like he has something to prove here tonight he really wants to show i mean at the beginning i'm going to be 100 percent honest i had no intentions on bringing in jungle boy but with Luchasaurus there just solo in this universe, I had to find a spot for Luchasaurus. And, I mean, he's in the tag team. Why not put him in the tag team? Ooh, yeah. Luchasaurus. I can see it. Oh, missing that pump kick. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, no. Chucky T. Ooh. With the pile driver. Ooh. Just drilled him. Sit out. It might be over. The boy's still on the floor. Ooh. Ooh. Luchasaurus able to kick out. Well, get that 2.9 going. We're stating he is the more powerful one. Yeah, the 2.9. <laughs> I give that a solid two. Didn't look like a near fall, like as far as uh, some Harry Carey goes. <laughs> and uh, Chuck Taylor really holding his own against the luchasaurus but wait a minute luchasaurus oh tornado kick right to the face see and that's what i was talking about those 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 phd feet those educated feet of luchasaurus can definitely take someone out in a second oh big knee right to the face taking down chuck taylor you know one has to wonder like uh you know best friends have the orange cassidy but we see some uh some orange Oh, see, see, you you trying to put me on the spot. <laughs> you trying to put me on the spot. I see what you're doing. Everybody's talking about, uh, you know, the sauce that Orange Cassidy has. 
Uh, see, you know what? The one thing that would be so difficult for me to really bring in Orange Cassidy because, I mean, if you saw our preview video of our uh, our GM mode, broke. It just dumped him over. Uh, I don't have Orange Cassidy in my my universe. I could potentially add him, maybe, but it all depends. There, uh, there's really not don't have that nonchalant. Exactly exactly and that's that's what kind of stops me from really bringing him in unless it's unless he changes his style no game at the end of, end of the day you know yeah and then i mean none of his moves will do any damage so he'll have to like wrestle for like an hour long to be his opponent yeah <laughs> his, his, his standing attacks and grapples will be like a 30. <laughs> he wouldn't be able to do anything Oh, man. Oh, my God. He'd be actual jobber, huh? It, yeah, basically. Anyway, anyway, you got Beretta and uh, Chucky e. T did some uh, good tag team maneuver in the corner with a Irish whip and a drop kick follow-up. And now there's a single high leg from Beretta. And now it might be over. Ooh. Luchasaurus able to kick out again. Using the power. Yo, Luchasaurus needs to just utilize that choke slam in this match here he is getting worked over by uh beretta here oh no the dude buster it's over it's over oh ho, ho. yeah best friends for the win best friends with a victory i mean you got to give it to him I, I don't consider any tag team in my universe um a job team at all all of them are great competitors, and, I mean, Jungle Boy definitely went all out at the very beginnings of this match. I mean, look at that. That, whoo, that flipping pile driver. But, um, at the end of the day, the best friends, because they were with each other longer, they went home with the victory. They just knew what to do. Yeah, they definitely had it scouted. And, you know, congratulations to them walking away with the victory, moving up the ranks. And, you know, Jurassic Express just has to... It's a little bit more of a divide and conquer by Chuck best friends. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know what? What they were able to do was separate Jurassic Express where they're able to utilize um, tag team moves against them. So, you know, they definitely did their thing. Now, look at this. The world champion in the ring in MJF trash talking omega oh and it looks like they're gonna fight on the outside of the ring here Ooh, omega and mjf they got beef with each other and there's no referee in this match at all and it looks like they're just battling it out and oh no huge power bomb through the table mjf Oh, and knees to the babies. Oh, no, no, no Omega Juniors running around after that. Wow, just assaulted him. MJF really wanting to make a statement tonight. And he definitely did that. My homie from Marietta, my hometown. Making <laughs> Gotta go with Cody here. Oh, oh, so that's what we were doing. Weighing in at 200. Oh, hometown favorite, no doubt. <laughs> he can't do no wrong, huh? Even as a heel? <laughs> nope, don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to see uh, you called it right down the middle. Hey, you know what? There is no gray line here. It's just what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Shout outs to you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Cody Rhodes in action here tonight, and we're going to definitely see what he's able to bring to the table here. Um, not able to win a championship as of yet in AEW, but we're going to see if he's able to, I mean, possibly face off for the television championship, maybe get a world heavyweight championship shot. We're going to see about that. I mean, I would like to see Cody Rhodes really climb the ranks and, and become a top guy in AEW, but, uh, tonight he's going to have a test. He is facing off against speed, agility, and, and just action personified. St. Louis. And yeah, this is a little bit of a surprise. This is definitely a bit of a surprise. We got Matt Seidel making his way to the ring. He is in AEW, and I had to sign him. I had no choice. Get held up at the airport? Oh, wow, really? <laughs> 
yeah, we <laughs> we had someone else in mind, but uh, uh, they went to the Middle East and kind of got stuck, so uh, we had to get Seidel. Last minute change. But uh, I mean, you know, him and his uh, favorite vaping devices. Oh, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's shooting on me. <laughs> well, you know, I am a fan of Seidel. I do have one of his t-shirts. He is a great wrestler. I don't care about the rest, but it's some minimal in my view. But, um... Uh-oh. What have we got going on here? And speaking of television champion, look what we got here. CM Punk. The chokehold. Wow. The chokehold. <laughs> <laughs> And CM Punk making his way around the ring here. I guess he wants a closer view of this match. Uh, Cody Rhodes got to stay on point, though. He got he got to stay on point. He got to worry about Matt Seidel. Matt Seidel is here to make uh, make a statement. He wants to be elite. Now arm wrench there. Cody Rhodes working that in. And it looks like Matt Seidel, ooh, able to reverse it into a hammer lock. I'm sorry, key lock. Well, obviously, the smaller guy in height, so anytime you get him in a headlock or any type of uh, arm lock, you got to make sure that you lower the bridge or else he'll just sweep underneath and escape like he did right there. Yeah, and actually, this match is starting off very technically sound. Both of these men really showing that uh, they know how to wrestle here in Cody Rhodes' amateur wrestling background, so you know he can definitely bring it when it comes to technical wrestling. Matt Seidel right now with a great vertical suplex there, showing his strength. Even though he is a, a junior heavyweight, maybe cruiserweight, he can definitely hold his own. I would say a junior, but definitely he doesn't have the power that Cody possesses. I think his offense is up top in, uh, you know, the aerial offense. And if he doesn't apply it, then Cody's going to simply out-wrestle him. Yeah. And, or, you know... He'll get thrown to the outside and Punk will punch him in the face and, you know. Well, I mean, you, see. <laughs> uh, you know, I, CM Punk and, 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 and AEW has been, when it, when it boils down to defending the AEW television championship, he has been undefeated. No one has been able to take that championship away from him. So, I mean, him coming out right now to view this match, he definitely sees both of these men as potential threats to the television championship. Hmm. Well, again, I got to stick with my hometown hero. <laughs> Blind faith to the end. <laughs> Blind faith to the end. Oh, look at this. CM Punk implementing himself. Oh, and Matt Seidel taking the advantage. He, he wants to win. Shout outs to Matt Seidel wanting to get a victory here tonight. He can care less that CM Punk implemented himself in this match. He wants to walk away with the victory. And defeating Cody Rhodes is a great way to climb the ranks. It is. Then in the end, regardless of who interferes or what happens in the ring or outside of the ring, the victory is what matters here. Absolutely. No matter how you get it. You know, I, I, yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter if the guy's from the same hometown as you or, you know, or he's, you know, from, a, you know, from the same hometown as you. You know, the best man should win regardless of where they were born or where they live. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, but I'm still sticking with Cody. Blind <laughs> face till then. <laughs> <laughs> and now it looks like uh, Matt Seidel might have been out of this match here. And this is a last man standing match. Oh, Look at that backflip drop kick there by a Seidel. Now, what is he going to do here? You know, we can kayfabe here for a minute and talk about the game mechanics and just say they need to fix the fall away moon salt slam. <laughs> <laughs> listen, it's, I'm just saying. Listen, it, it's a great move, and I really like it when it hits. It used to be one of my personal finishers, but because of that right there, it's no longer one of my finishes. You know what? I take it as a backflip uh, drop kick. So you know, I, I, hey, you know we we you know we just, we just got to run with it. To hit, you got to pull the trigger at the last second. Yeah, you really do. But you know, shout outs to the um, CPU. Yeah. 
subscribe to their YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. 450. Ooh, threw the knees up. Threw the knees up. Cody Rhodes was prepared for that in a huge forearm shot dropping Matt Seidel. And now collar and elbow. Oh, and Matt Seidel showing some strength there. Oh, Meteora. Them off. And now Cody Rhodes might be done for here. If Matt Seidel... I like to see the shooting star press, if anything. Absolutely. And, and what do you think? I mean, if Matt Seidel is able to walk away with the victory, does this really help him climb the ranks here in AEW? Well, it definitely brings him up a couple of ranks, you know. Leapfrog a few people. Yeah, but I... I honestly think Cody Rhodes has uh, different thoughts in his mind. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Crossroads. Crossroads. Yeah, it might be over here. Blind faith till the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. You know, I, I need to have somebody from Connecticut in here. Where's uh, Mercedes Martinez? <laughs> to book her. <laughs> I gotta book someone from Connecticut. Where's Triple H? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and Matt Man, Seidel. A full day in hell right there. Yeah, that would be. Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> hell has frozen over. Wait a minute, Matt Seidel here. Something would have to go terribly wrong. Seidel with the comeback. Uh oh. Ducks the clothesline. Ropes ducking under. Kip up by Matt Seidel. Up. Might be over here. Your boy might be taking an L tonight. We'll see. <laughs> he has literally nothing negative to say I'd about be... Cody Rhodes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be disappointed off of a comeback. <laughs> oh, I was about to say. <laughs> he was going to lose off a comeback. Oh, nice reversal. <laughs> I think Cody is done here. I think I think um he was so surprised how quickly his wife went more to put Cody away than uh, just some fancy flippy shit. Listen, I'm just gonna put it out there. Matt Seidel is is definitely a top tier athlete. Oh, just an eight count. Come on, I'm shooting for Matt Seidel. If you're going for Cody, I'm going for Matt. He needs to make sure he's capitalizing. He does. He does. Oh, dirty move there. That was Dirt McGurk. Oh, Cody Rhodes. Ooh, nice kitchen sink. Yeah, he's fighting dirty now. He wants to walk away with Taking the win. The wind out of the cells of Matt Sida. Yeah, he wants to win. He saw Brandy Rhodes win a, a very convincing victory in the opening contest, and now he wants to show. Victory. <laughs> I bury none of my talent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, I like to, you know, call it how I see it. You know, no gray areas. I, I hear you on that one, but uh, I definitely feel like uh, Cody Rhodes here. Uh, my, oh, Cody Rhodes just, keep, just keeps getting up. Another boot right to the face. Ooh. Seidel, sit out jawbreaker. I think Cody is done here. Well, see, Seidel is hitting these moves and they're they're not his high impact. They're they're strong grapples that he's getting off here. But it's nothing devastating when you're going to put the caliber of Cody Rhodes down for a full ten. Listen. It, he's working towards it. It's taking some time. With what he's doing. Yeah, he does. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, big DD. It might be over. He has to follow up. Yeah, he needs to do the, the shooting star, I think. But I think there's too much risk. I think it's too much risk. It's definitely a risk. Yeah, I, th I think Cody might be done here. I'm surprised he wasn't busted open. Oh, come on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, pick him Again, up. He keeps on sitting up right into that front kick. Uh-oh. Look at this. Uh -oh. Dude buster. Okay. Another dude buster. That may put Cody down. We'll see. 
I think it did. Back of the head and neck. I think it did. I think it's over. I think Cody Rhodes is done. It just might be over. No, well, we'll see, man. We'll see. It's over. He keeps on getting up at no. nine. Oh, come on. <laughs> what is going on? The magic number. Oh, good reversal. Big knee. Oh, I could have been the Kudo Crusher. Come on. Come on, Seidel. Work. Shotgun style drop kick. And now, good. To go up is not enough, I'm telling you. <sighs> yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to keep him down with that. But uh, Matt Seidel is definitely showing that he has what it takes right now to take Cody Rhodes out. He has it. I mean, Cody Rhodes has been on the mat longer than he's been this standing. Pinfall, it could have been. Honestly, that I, I believe that to be true. And back up again, what Cody Rhodes. Cody's advantage here were in a last man standing match. Ooh, there's the reversal. Now he needs to capitalize. Wrong decision. <laughs> Oh, single leg. In the corner. Oh, good reversal. Pushing the legs. Uh-oh. Eyes on it. There's the comeback. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't you dare. Get up. Do not lose to a comeback. Get on your feet. Sir, get well, on. What he lose to a comeback, he would lose to a clothesline. No, he better get up. He better not. You better not. Oh, I was about to say. I was about there to There we go. Give him some of his own medicine with a kick right after he gets up. Come on, Matt. Can burn a reversal. Let's talk game mechanics. <laughs> He's got a full stock. Just stomping away rank style. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could be one of them cheesy people. Uh, if only. Let me if just put an RKO and a spear on my guy and a, a wheelbarrow drop kick. <laughs> what? Oh. oh my god. He lost a kick to the back. A kick to the back. He lost to a kick. You need to pack up your bags, go toward the highway, hit up a cracker barrel on your way out, and then we'll see you next time. That is terrible. That is, I'm disgusted. I am truly disgusted by that performance. That was the, the main event. Uh, maybe he just didn't have the lungs to take. No. To the back line. In the main event, <laughs> a competitor lost to a kick to the back. Cody Rhodes is OP. I'm just going to put it out there.